What's up, everybody? We got a great episode for y'all today, man. Your man's LeBron James, bro. Still hasn't came out there and addressed these allegations, bro, of him being on that Balco and being on that PEDs, bro. Because at the end of the day, ladies and gentlemen, right? When y'all sit there and brag about LeBron James' longevity, and when you sit there and brag about his points and his stats and stuff like that, but doesn't ignore the fact that he needed special enhancements for him to play that long. And when guys have came out there and allegedly accused LeBron James of being on that juice and being on that EPOs and being on that Balco, right? Then LeBron James did not respond, bro. He responded to everything else. He responded to everything else, chat. But he did not respond to him being allegedly on those PEDs and those EPOs as well, right? So... A guy to me that I gave a lot of validity to, um, a guy that has been accusing LeBron James on these uh, steroids and accusing LeBron James being on EPOs is no longer than a legendary Chill Sonnen, right? Uh, as y'all know, I'm a big USC fan. Um, I'm a very, very good expert over there in USC. Um, Chill Sonnen is a guy that I, you know, very very aware of um he had a good career in the usc as well um he is the guy to me that has been popped dirty for epos and and, and performance enhancing drugs as well right so i know that chel sunning is in the sport where he has accused so many fighters so many guys of being on the epos and being on those peds and stuff like that right and i when he came out there and exposed lebron james for being on that I, I knew that I agree with Chelsea. I knew that he had some validity to that, right? And the fact that LeBron James hasn't came out there and addressed those allegations, right, proves to my point that I think Chelsea, Sonnen, you know what I'm saying, uh, know what he's talking about, right? As y'all know, Chelsea Sonnen accused LeBron James, right, for him having the same dealer, right, or taking the EPOs as well, right? That's what Chelsea Sonnen basically sat there and said. And I, and I, and I, and I agree with Chelsea Sonnen, right? Now, has, it been, has LeBron James been guilty of using those drugs that Chelsea Sonnen accused him of? No. But why hasn't LeBron James came out? Why hasn't LeBron James came out and responded to the allegations and sued Chelsea Sonnen of defamation of character? Why has he done that? He responded to everybody else, but why has he done that, right? And that's, you know, the things that we produce over the last summer, right? Um, but I knew that LeBron James is, is on that, man. And uh, when we talk about him going to a biogenist for two weeks, Right, come back four pounds, ten pounds of muscle, strong, built as I don't know what as a truck. I knew there was some validity. We can look at the pictures where, you know, he was super, super skinny. Right, starting up the season in 2014 and 2015. Right, his first stint with Cleveland. Right, wasn't playing good. Wasn't playing under above the rim. Right, came to Miami and then the rest is history. Right, we can also talk about the signs. Right, having a lump on the jaw, receding hairlines. Those are all signs. Of LeBron James being on that, you know what I'm saying, uh, PEDs and, and performance enhancing drugs. And when you have players and when you have his peers coming out there and sitting there saying that LeBron James is on that Balco. And then Paul Pierce didn't respond. He didn't act like it was just all known, right? I mean, it, it is crazy, right? But Chell Sonnen, right, was on a podcast, right? Um, uh, somebody sent me a clip of what Chell Sonnen was basically saying. Um, he was reacting to like the UFC 299 card and, you know, I'm saying Jake Paul versus Mike Tyson. And he was on a podcast and this is what he had to say about more information about his acquisitions about LeBron James. Y'all take a listen. Yes. A Hall of Fame linebacker. Well, and then I ended up meeting him. He was a yeah. very nice guy. Yeah. But yes, at the time I was building some fight and I called, well, I called him. Why did you call LeBron a dork me. though? Well, what did LeBron do? Le LeBron had done something to me. Um, and he, he was coming to UFC fights, and he wasn't doing autographs. And it was, it was just one of these things that, that rubbed me the wrong way. And he and I have one thing in common. We, we use the same drug dealer to buy our EPO. <laughs> and I don't see anything wrong with that. Like, there's performance-enhancing drugs. And they'll come out and try to tell you those are bad. Performance and enhancing are good terms. You can pin that on me all you want. If there's something out there that can make you better... I'm not going to lie about it like a lot of other people are. And it, it was a big deal. It's like LeBron, to explain where you got, you got to understand, I grew up through the Hulk Hogan era. Like, I mean, I'm taking my vitamins and I'm doing my push-ups every night and I'm flexing in the mirror for 10 years and I can't put on any muscle. <laughs> like, 
Paul, why didn't you say you were taking anabolic steroids? Like, yeah. I did the prayers. I did the Bible. I would have done the steroids. Yeah. Why didn't you yeah. include that? Well, because he would give speeches like, like hey, you, you guys, you take your vitamins, <laughs> kids. Yeah. So but, <laughs> is that actually, is there validity to your story with the same drug dealer? Is that actually yes, accurate? Straight for, up. For specific, yeah, but it's a wonderful drug. See, this is what, <laughs> but guys, it's, it's good. It's a legal medicine. There's I mean, your that's, boy. One, that's one of the things. It's a legal medicine. Now, you can ban it in sports, and there's different rules, but I'm sharing with you. Like, this is what Lance Armstrong did when he finally cleaned clean. It was something called EPO. Uh -huh. And in the world of performance-enhancing drugs, in my experience, EPO is king, and it is king by eight. I would pass up five other stuff just to have that, but it's very, very difficult to get. It's very expensive. We happen to have the same guy. I didn't say that to out him and or embarrass him. This wasn't like a dry snitch. Mm -hmm. I'm sharing that if you want to get a basketball and you want to make it to 38, you want to be the MVP of the league, you you, you can't just go do certain things. There's a little bit more to it. Mm -hmm. Let me share with you what that is. I mean, I have the same problem with The Rock. Every time I'm around The Rock, he's a very nice guy to me, but I don't know why he denies steroids. He denies them, and, and John Cena denies them. It's like, guys, they're legal. Testosterone is legal. Steroids got a bad rap and this this dirty rap, and, and it, it brings in connotations that you're in like a back alley of a Gold's Gym and you're buying mm -hmm. something out of a brown paper bag. There's also legal medicines, which is what you guys do. I believe. I believe The Rock takes his legally. Why wouldn't you just come out and tell people that? It's a great. So Stallone did. Schwarzenegger finally did. Suzanne Summers did and wrote a book on it. But that's a very honorable thing. If this is what you're truly doing, I feel you're like saying you're that's not all natural, Joe. And, and you, you can say nothing. Like you can just post those pictures and say nothing. But if he chooses to come out and say, here's my diet, and here's my cheat meals, and mm -hmm. here's specifically what I do. But you leave out the anabolics, which you know is what's actually creating that. Not the pancakes in the morning and the 4 a.m. wake up. I think that you need to say it. I do. Oh, mm. Or you can just stay away from it. So I, I helped LeBron. He didn't have the courage to say it. So I said it for him. Wow. So you should thank you. Are y'all shocked? This man, Chell Sonnen, has accused multiple, multiple athletes on being on the EPOs and being on the performing enhancing drugs. He has accused the guys like The Rock. He has accused guys like Hulk Hogan. He has accused guys like John Cena, Anderson Silva, Mighty Mouse, right? Many guys that have been on the performing enhancing drugs, bro. And he's accused LeBron James. So to sit there and think that, oh, Mookie, oh, Chell Sonnen, right? He just out there to get LeBron James. No, he has accused so many athletes, so many entertainers for being on that drug. When Chell Sonnen came out there and sat there and said that, oh, uh, me and LeBron James have the same dealer. Why would he just sit there and lie when the man uh, has the risk of getting sued? He has the risk of losing everything, bro, and risk of being canceled. Why would he just sit there and lie? Why? Why would he just sit there and lie? But why hasn't LeBron James came out there and addressed those allegations of what Chael Sonnen is saying? And I agree with Chael Sonnen is saying because you know why? He's been in that sport where a lot of people, a lot of USC fighters take that, bro. We have seen the pictures. We have seen the signs of LeBron James being on EPOs and being on those, allegedly being on those PDs as well, right? We have seen his training partner, right? Where his manager or whoever he was running business with was running that smoothie business with his wife, Savannah James. And a guy that he was running the smoothie business, right, got popped dirty. Sat there and said he was using a smoothie business to push out more, you know, uh, drugs and e EPOs and, and stuff like that, bro. This is not shocking to me, bro. This is what LeBron James is. And as more evidence come out there and uh, more evidence come out there, right, and, and more people come out there when LeBron James is retired, he will be a race for the NBA record books. He won't even be in nobody's top 100. He, all the stats and all that stuff, you hear me? All that shit came with LeBron James being on some special type of uh, advancement, right? Being on some type of um, drug and performing enhancing drugs, right? That's what it came with, bro. That's what it came with. When Chell Sonnen basically sat there and said, right, if you want to win MVPs, if you want to still play at this level at the age of 38 to 39 years old, and LeBron James is like 40 years old right now, bro. He's like 39, 40 years old, and he is not slowing down. The man is not slowing down, bro. He's not. So 
So it raised my eye to just think, bro, he's on something. He's on something, bro. Because he hasn't slowed down and he's still going. But when Chell Sonnen sat there and said, that if you want to win MVPs, you want to be an MVP conversation, you want to put up great production as well, right? You got to take those EPOs. <laughs> oh my God. It's crazy how LeBron fans sit there and say, oh, Mookie, who do you know who's doing that at LeBron James age? Who do you know that's playing at this high level at LeBron James age at the age of 38, 39 years old? Well, a lot of these athletes in, in basketball that play to what, 36 to 37 years old, they didn't have the luxury to have special advancements like LeBron James, right? Who had a competitive advantage over everybody, an unfair advantage over everybody because, because he's taking a banned substance. So if, 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 if many basketball players was allowed to do that like LeBron's doing it, right? Like he's allegedly doing that, bro, they'll be, they'll be, doing, they'll, they'll be doing the same thing that LeBron James doing. But this is the thing too. How come ESPN is not speaking up on this? How come only podcasters on YouTube like myself is the only person that's speaking up on stuff like this? Why come ESPN is not talking about this? How come uh first take uh 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 you know Skip Bayless, you know, why 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 is nobody speaking up on these allegations? Why I mean I'm talking I'm just having a conversation. This reporting the news. Why are they sweeping this under the rug? Why? But when it's other things, right? When it's about Kyrie Irving and his personal situation, when it's about Colin Kaepernick, when it's other players, right? Other athletes that's not named LeBron James. You heard me? They don't speak about this issue, right? You know why? Because ESPN has became too political. It has. It's became too political, chat. So at the end of the day, bro, when you dive deep in the water and when you break it all the way down, this is not a good look for LeBron. LeBron James, address what Chell Sonnen is saying. Address what this man is saying, bro. Don't forget to join our playback room. We be live there watching the games live. Download the playback app, man. Be a VIP member. Watch the games with us live. We'll be there. Great content. Speaking about everything, man. If you really support me and the YouTube channel, you'll subscribe to our playback account, man. Don't forget to subscribe to our playback account and enjoy the video, man. It's your boy. I'm out.